Hello there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And uh, looks like I think I've got all the knobs and dials in the right spot here. If everything sounds okay, be sure and let me know. And uh, look, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe's already done. Drop a comment in there. Say hi. Say hello. Give the thumbs up. Wave. Poke like, whatever the, the appropriate response is in the venue in which you are watching. Um, all right, so I'm going to get right to the gist of things today because time is of the essence. All right, thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. Run a little bit behind today, and i uh, got to be out in Madison later this morning. So I'll just go ahead and, and tell you that programming note today. Uh, at least Tom is not going to be on the coffee shop show this morning. Got to be out with the great folks in the uh, Madison Chamber this morning. We're doing uh, Making Time for Success Workshop, my number one most requested workshop. All right, so today, our t- so this week we've been talking about simplifying, right? And how simplifying is kind of the key to... Uh, being able to execute. Execute is the key to making progress. Progress is the key to success, happiness, satisfaction, all those great things that we want to feel. So, what did today I want to talk about? What does it look like to simplify? Yesterday we talked about why we crave complexity and why we're looking for that. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about if you are simplifying, what will it actually look like? Now, this is another one of those words. I talked about uh, focus last week on the podcast. And we're we're told, you know, we need to focus. We know we need to focus. I just need to focus more. But nobody ever tells us how, right? So I want to tell you how to simplify, at least in this step. No, this is how to simplify and how you can tell if you are simplifying. So... It's one word, actually. It's really simple. You just have to say this one word maybe several times, maybe several dozen times a day, but this one word will simplify things for you. You ready? It's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. The word is no. You just have to say no. Any time that you say yes, look, here's the hard truth. You're saying no already. Okay? Anytime you say yes to someone else's request or someone else's priority, you are already saying no to your own. So think about that for just a minute. Anytime you say yes to someone else's request, you are saying no to your own. Every once in a while you'll have some overlap, but that's a minor exception. Okay? So what you have to do, if you want to make progress toward your goal and create the outcomes that you are looking for, then you have to begin saying yes to your priority and no to other people's priority. Now... I can hear the objections already. And that's okay. This is not, in some cases, this can be an overnight thing. Like, here's a great example. Last week we were talking about the Pomodoro method, where you work for 20 minutes, take a 5-minute break, work for 20 minutes, take a 10-minute break. Right? Simple, easy peasy. So when you do that, and one of the things that I told you is, Jay, if, if you're writing an email, well, that's a bad example. If you're writing a, if you're working on a, a PowerPoint, working on a report for this 20-minute block, don't answer the phone. Don't check email. Turn notifications off on the phone. Put the phone over somewhere else so you can't even see it. So you're not distracted by it. You need to 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 apply your time, energy, and attention to creating this PowerPoint slide. Okay, whoever called, you can call them back. Whoever emailed, you can email them back. And not going into all the details all over again, you know, I had a pretty full slate 
the day our daughter had her wreck. Well, I didn't call any of those people back. After, you know, we headed to the hospital, I wasn't worried about calling them back. I wasn't worried about sending them a text saying, hey, I'm tied up. I'm not going to be able to return any emails. All right? That's a, that's a, a super extreme to illustrate the point that when your priorities are really lined up, that stuff doesn't matter. All right? So now when they're, when that line is not extreme, right, the same rule has to apply. And that's what I want you to see. So it all begins with understanding that outcome you're trying to create and asking yourself a really simple question. Does this request, does this email, does this phone call, does this move me closer to that outcome I'm trying to create or further away? If it moves you further away, say no. Say no to that re- to that opportunity. Say yes to creating your outcome. That makes sense. I, I I hope so. I mean, that's that's what it's going to. That's the step that you have to take over and over. Now, here's the here's the thing. Okay, this is going to create um, bandwidth, a, a headspace, right? It's going to create extra bandwidth in your day. You're going to finish your day and be. I'm, I'm, I'm finished. What what do I do? You have to fill that with something. Be careful the choice you make, what what you fill that with. But you need that's gonna be a great indicator that this is working is you begin to feel like, hey, I've got some extra time. Right? Now if you track it, you know, use your notebook and you track it, you'll actually see that you have extra time. Alright? That's it for today. I hope that that is uh, our conversation this all this week about simplifying is helping. If you have any questions or comments, be sure and drop them in the comment section. If you have, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you, if you have a question that you would like for me to hit on Free Coaching Friday, go ahead and be working on it. You can go ahead and send it to me early. That's okay. You know, give me more time to work on an answer. <laughs> but go ahead and send it when you get it. We're going to do that on Friday. Tomorrow... I want to talk to you about the method that I use to track. I was talking about tracking. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the method, the P plus 4F method that I use to track. Until then, you guys have a fantastic Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.